What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, I am going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played. Sheffield United at Old Trafford guys, at home, first game at Old Trafford since Project Restart. So let's just get straight into today's video guys. So we made three changes from the last game against Tottenham. Talking about the starting 11, so we started with De Gea, Wan-Bissaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw, Pogba, Matic, Greenwood, Fernandez, Rashford and Martial. Getting into the overall reaction now guys, Martial scores his first senior hat-trick, buzzing for the guy, what a game, what a result, fucking fantastic performance, too easy, top four is on, it's definitely on guys, still unbeaten, 13 games unbeaten as well, win done, three points done, clean sheet done. Anyway guys, let's just get straight into today's video. What did I make of the performance? You know what guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought that was our best performance we have produced so far this season. Pogba coming back into the team and obviously seeing Pogba and Bruno play for the first time, that's by far the best performance we've played and that's without a crowd as well. Overall, fantastic performance by the boys. We went out there, we played with a lot of heart, a lot of passion, a lot of pride, played with a lot of character play with energy. We were ruthless from minute one to minute 90. I said that we had to be ruthless. I said that we had to take risks. I said that the crosses had to be better. What did those players do? They produced, they turned up and they got us the three points. They got us a win and they got another clean sheet. I'm buzzing. Great win for the boys and that just lifts our confidence. Not only just the confidence, the momentum and the rhythm now in the team. Fantastic. Just got to keep it up now. Don't let it all go to pot. Just keep going. Things will come our way. Great performance. You couldn't be happier. Great game. Great result. Top four is definitely on guys. Looking forward to it. So getting into the game now. First half, I was very pleased with the first half. We came out, we were the better team. We were controlling and dominating the game. We played with a lot of energy. We played with a lot of width, a lot of pace. We used the flanks really well. We pressed on the full backs really well. And the crosses were 10 times better from Tottenham. Not only just that, the performance wise, fantastic from the players just what we needed the other games coming up now upcoming games coming up now so it was brilliant performance in the first half i thought we used the ball really well we pressed high up the pitch we played with high intensity high tempo we were ruthless with the ball the work rate on and off the ball was fantastic the game management was fantastic to beat a very good sheffield side which is obviously very difficult but we knew that this was the best time to beat sheffield Things are not going right for them right now, so we knew this is the time to beat them. What are we going to do? We went and beat them. Three goals to nil. United just did absolutely everything. We turned up and played some fantastic football. Bruno really controlled that midfield. And obviously coming back and helping Pogba and Matic and pushing the team going forward. Fantastic. Just what you want in a player with Bruno's attributes, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen to other teams, what we're going to do really. A fantastic first half, play with lots of energy, lots of pace, lots of width. Having the likes of Greenwood, Martial and Rashford, very scary front three. And that's what they're going to do to other teams, they're going to punish teams. And we're just going to have to do that game in and game out now. Let's take it one game at a time. Don't get too carried away. Treat the next game as, as another game. Let's take it game by game. Don't get too carried away. We're still unbeaten. Let's keep that unbeaten record going. And we're playing some fantastic stuff. No one can beat us right now. I'm pleased. In the first half, don't get me wrong, the game should have been dead and buried. We should have been at least 4-0 up in the first half. 4-5-0 up. It should have been dead and buried in the first half. But they're the chances that we should have taken at the end of the day. But going into the second half, it was brilliant. We just controlled and dominated the half. We knew that if we score another goal, it was finished. Sheffield are nowhere near of coming back into the game. Sheffield were poor all game. They had only one shot on target, which was very poor for them. But United, we just take control. We saw out the game. We grinded out a fantastic result. Martial got his first senior hat-trick. Buzz it for the guy. Hope he can kick on now and score more hat-tricks. Pleasing performance, not only just by Martial, but the team as well. Fantastic all round. But let's just keep this going now. We don't want to drop off now. Second half was just brilliant. We saw out the game. We grinded out a great result. We were disciplined. The composure was there in the team. We are fantastic all round. And you can't fault that performance because it was just so good. You can't find a negative. Very good performance. Let's kick on from this now. Got some tough teams coming up now. Obviously in some good form. Let's go and kick on. Get some good confidence and momentum in the team now. All game round, like I said, game management. We played with a character, played for the badge, played for the club. Fantastic all round. 
keep going now. Let's keep it going now. Martial was fantastic last night. He has scored his first senior hat-trick in his career. What have I made of him this season? Martial's been impressive this season. It's been like 19 goals, all competitions. The guy's on fire. When you give him the service, he's going to be wrapping up the goals. He's a fantastic striker. He's a skillful, agile striker. He's one of these strikers where he'll just score for fun once again. But there's times with Martial, with his work rate, off the ball, he gets a little bit lazy. And that's where someone needs to sort of give him a kick up the backside and say, go, move. You're also saying to him, move for the ball. Don't just stand there like a lemon. Get to the ball. But with Martial, he's been fantastic. I think he can kick on and get some more goals this season. Like, seven more games to go, you're looking at like... 30 goals or 30 plus goals for Martial. Martial, he was fantastic last night and he's just got to keep on, keep doing what he's doing now. But that'll not only just give him his confidence, but it'll give him that momentum. We were all criticising him in that Tottenham game from last week, but he deserved that because he worked his arse off for it. And obviously, great interchange between him and Rashford, playing a load of one twos, with obviously playing Rashford and Martial. That link up play is just fantastic and it can't get any better. You want to see more of Rashford and Martial together. And then obviously you sometimes have Rashford going into that striker position. Rashford might go out onto the right with Martial into the into more of a central position or into you know, where the striker usually is. Obviously having Martial and Rashford together is fantastic. We always want to see that link up play. They're fantastic together. Not only just them though, Pogba and Bruno, fantastic midfielders, brilliant midfielders. I think they're the best midfielders United have signed. Brilliant partnerships there, so we've just got to keep it going. Let's see what happens in the next future games, and I think we can kick on from this fantastic result, go and get some, some more good results coming. It will be brilliant, you know. What did I make of Pogba and Bruno for the first time? Fantastic together. I think Pogba finished off what he started from the Tottenham game. Both Pogba and Bruno were fantastic together. Um, great uh, obviously like again like I was just going on about Rashford and Martial and them two are together are just fantastic together and obviously brilliant partnership and we always wanted to see Pogba and Bruno play fantastic the work rate the character the passion the pride that they both put in the work rate's fantastic from both of them obviously having with Pogba and Bruno in the team it's even stronger and when we have that team with Pogba and Bruno in the team. It gives it a little bit more, a little bit more flair into the team, and a little bit more, a bit more of a kick and a bit more of an edge to the game to go and take it to our opposition or whoever we play, the likes of Sheffield United. When you've got two great midfielders there with Bruno in behind and Pogba drop back deep, it's fantastic. We always wanted to see Pogba and Bruno playing together, but they were fantastic for the first time. I'm looking forward to seeing them in more upcoming games together. Obviously, they were brilliant on and off the ball. Obviously, fantastic partnership and link-up play between them two. They're fantastic together. We just hope to see them more in more upcoming games coming up. I think with playing that team last night, we know that that is our best eleven, And with players now that need to sort of now fight for a place, that is a message to say to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you are not dropping us both. We deserve to be on there, and that's probably earned Pogba another start against Brighton next week. Fantastic together, and I'm looking forward to seeing them in more upcoming games. They were fantastic together. Can't wait to see them together. Who is my man of the match? I think it straight down got to be Anthony Martial. He's got a hat trick, and not only just Martial, Rashford got two assists as well. So not only just Martial was fantastic, Rashford was fantastic as well. Both Rashford and Martial were my man of the match. How do we beat Brighton Hove Albion? Brighton, you know what, they've surprised me since the restart. Brighton have, have been a team this season that have not got going this season. They've only got one win in 2020 against Arsenal since the restart. Brighton have showed improvement since the restart and that shows of how much work they're putting in training. But Brighton, uh, we've played them early on in the season, we beat them 3-1. This is just another game for us. We've got to go away from home. Again, we've got nothing to lose. We've got to play with that team that we played against Sheffield. And I think when they see Pogba and Bruno hitting it off together, it's a struggle because look at Sheffield. They couldn't put United under threat. United were in so much control of that game. We had the better chances. We had more possession than Sheffield. And if you look at a team like Brighton, I mean, they've got some fantastic players in there. Brighton have done well since the restart. Four points in two games. Fantastic for them. They'll want to push on from that. They've got the confidence and they've got the momentum. 
But from United's perspective, with that team that we've got compared to their team, I don't think Brighton can really do much to stop our team. And I think because we're in such fine form, how are they going to stop us? And United are not Arsenal. United have got a better team than Arsenal. If we're going into Brighton, it's just another game for us. Prepare well, not only just mentally and physically as well. Going with the right mindset, the right mentality. But I think it's all about with Brighton. You've got to stretch them out. You've got to play with high intensity, high tempo, putting some great crosses into the box again. Low and hard crosses, great, some fantastic chances. The chances all come. I think you've got to be patient with them. They've got fantastic goalkeeper in Matt Ryan. We'll just have to be patient for our chances. But with Rashford and Martial hitting it off and Pogba and Bruno hitting it off, I don't think Brighton will be able to stop us. United will start quick and we need to start quick, quick and bright, start to the game. We all need to really get them on the front foot, push them back and get them on the back foot, create some chances and get some good crosses into the box. We'll need to keep creating chances after chance after chance after chance. We'll have to be patient for the goals to come because we know Matt Ryan's a great goalkeeper. We'll get our time bright and they think since that restart they think they've been amazing. They weren't that inspiring against Leicester. We just got to push on now from that Sheffield game. Let's just take it one game at a time. Don't get too carried away. Brighton, a very good team, don't get me wrong. But this is a team that have not done well this year. They've only got one win in 2020. You don't want to write them off though. Brighton, they can be good on the day. That's if they turn up. And for us, we've just got to turn up to this game. Let's be mentally, physically prepared for this game. We need the mindset and the mentality there in the team. Now that we've got over that barrier, we know that we can go on to beat any team at the end of the day. Brighton are a fantastic team, don't get me wrong, but the last two games have shown that they've been very compact. They've kept it tight at the back. They've conceded less goals now. It's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. This is just another game for us, going with the right mentality, the right mindset. Prepare well for this game. And like I said, just get them on the back foot and they'll struggle. But it's not only just that, you want to get the game plan and the tactics right on the day. Turn up for another great performance, put on another fantastic performance against Brighton. Keep doing what we're doing while we're climbing up on that table. And we'll be closing on on Chelsea and Leicester. Leicester are bottling it now. Let's push on for top four. Brighton, they'll be tough, but we can break them down easy. Just got to prepare well, mentally, physically. We should do them on the day for sure. Getting into the goals now, guys. First goal, Wambasaka throws it, Martial. Puts in a great tackle, Rashford wins possession, Rashford makes space, Rashford crossed it to Martial, Martial shoots and makes it 1-0. Second goal, Fernandez does a fake shot, passed it to Pogba, Pogba passed it to Wan-Bissaka, wan cuts back inside, wan crossed it hard and low and Martial shoots and scores for 2-0. Third goal, Pogba passed it to Bruno, Bruno flicks it onto Martial, Martial turns, passed it to Rashford. Rashford puts the ball through to Martial, Martial chips it over the keeper for 3-0, fantastic composure. Getting into the stats now, possession wise for Man United it was 68.2% and for Sheffield United it was 31.8%. United had more possession, we were dominant and we controlled that game. Goal for Manchester United it was 3 and for Sheffield it was 0. Total shots for Man United it was 15 and for Sheffield United it was 4. Shots on target for Man United it was 6 and for Sheffield United it was 1. Shot accuracy for Man United it was bang on 40% and for Sheffield United it was bang on 25%. Shots inside the box for Man United it was 11 and for Sheffield United it was 2. Shots outside the box for Man United it was 4 and for Sheffield United it was 2. Total passes for Man United it was 748 passes. And for Sheffield United, it was 338 passes. Pass accuracy for Man United, it was bang on 91%. And for Sheffield United, it was 82.5%. Getting into the substitutions now. Marshall went off for Igalo. Talk about Marshall's performance. Scored two fantastic goals in the classic poachers' performance before he scored a classy third for a hat trick. Pogba went off for Pereira. Talk about Pogba's performance. Picked up from where he left off at Tottenham. Pogba was athletic and creative in more of a fluid United midfield. Bruno went off at McTominay, talk about Bruno's performance, demanding of teammates in the first minute. Fernandez was overshadowed by Pogba in this occasion, but still a creative presence. Rashford went off for James, talk about Rashford's performance. Van Martial with a low cross for the first, but squandered good chances. Erratic again after a poor performance at Tottenham, but created the third. Greenwood went off for Mata, talk about Greenwood's performance. Deserved to start and begun brightly but was not as involved in the United attacks as Martial and Rashford had attempts at goal. Next up, we have obviously got Brighton Hove Like I said, Brighton are 15th in the table. Like I said, guys, 
just going to prepare mentally, physically for this game. Just going to create our chances, get them on the back foot. And once we get them on the back foot, find our momentum, our rhythm, play with quick, incisive football, get the fluidity in the game going, push the full backs, push on the, onto the full backs, get them on the back foot. And once we find our momentum, our rhythm, create chances, we'll be able to break them down like that at the end of the day Brighton will capitulate they'll be looking at each other they're not great in defending as well I mean that's obviously something that we can go and exploit as well they might not have Adam Webster for this one if Oli picks the right team puts the players in the right positions if he balances the team out right the structure needs to be right in the team we need the depth in the team and he needs to select the right formation for the game and I will believe Manchester United will win this game against Brighton. Brighton have scored 34 goals so far this season. Brighton have conceded 41 goals so far this season. Brighton are scoring 1.1 goals per game and they've conceded 1.3 goals per game. Brighton have the 10th best defence in the league, so they're not that great in defending. Mid-table team in defending. So far in 2020, Brighton have only won one game and that was against Arsenal. So far, Brighton have got four points in two games. Brighton have won 7, drawn 12 and lost 12. They have lost to Southampton 2-0, Man City 4-0, Chelsea 2-0, Villa 2-1, Man United 3-1, Leicester 2-0, Liverpool 2-1, Sheffield 1-0, Tottenham 2-1, Everton 1-0, Bournemouth 3-1, Palace 1-0. For all those fixtures they have lost at home, the last time Man United beat Brighton Hove Albion was in the FA Cup. It was on Thursday the 26th of May 1983 and it ended 4-0 to the Reds. The last time Man United lost to Brighton Hove Albion in the Premier League was on Sunday the 19th of August 2018 and it ended 3-2 to Brighton. The players to look out for is Duffy, Dunk, Stevens, Basuma, Gross, Moy, March, Proper, Mupai, Trozard, Ali Razor, Murray, Escuardo and Connolly. Hope you guys are enjoying the video guys. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of days, and peace.